So if you're trying to use uh, Apple Classroom and you notice that you have students who are either showing up offline uh, or are, um, it says authorizing, that their device is authorizing and they aren't connected. Uh, first thing you need to check is check on the student device that they have Bluetooth turned on. Um, that is the little odd looking uh, B symbol. It should have, uh, it should be lit up blue. And you want to make sure that airplane mode is not turned on, which would make it orange. So this right here is exactly how it should look. Uh, airplane mode off, Bluetooth on. Now, if that is correct, and they're still showing up offline or authorizing, then chances are they may not be logged into their uh, district Apple ID. The problem with that is if they open up their settings app, uh, we lock their Apple ID. They cannot get into uh, their district Apple ID. It's grayed out uh, to prevent them from logging in with their own personal Apple ID. So. Uh, in order to log in or to have them re-enter that password, what needs to happen is they need to do something to trigger that Apple ID or to prompt them to get that Apple ID. Sometimes opening up an Apple app like Pages, Keynote, or uh, Numbers will work. So if I would launch Numbers, sometimes it may uh, pop up and ask me to enter in my Apple ID uh, here, once I launch the app or open it up. Um, but if not, then a lot of times what they need is there is an app that's called Schoolwork um, that will force them to uh, enter that information again. So by default, Schoolwork is not installed on their device. So uh, it's not really an app we use a whole lot, but it looks at those same Apple Classroom classes that are set up for Apple Classroom. So by connecting one, that should make the other one work as well. So the way a stu student can get schoolwork is to open up the Manager app. And then once in the Manager app, they can look for an app called Schoolwork and then go ahead and tell it to install. Uh, it's an alphabetical list, so they find schoolwork. It looks like this. And they tell it to reinstall or update. And then within a few seconds, that app will install. Now, once it finishes installing, they're simply going to open it up and start learning now. Now, the classes that they see in schoolwork over here on the left should be the exact same classes that they have in their course at the same exact time. You'll notice at the bottom left hand corner, it says it's setting up schoolwork and syncing that content. Uh, it's normally sometime in this process that it may give them a pop-up asking them to sign in with their Apple ID. If that happens, their Apple ID username is normally already filled in. All it asks for is their password. Uh, their password is your six-digit birth date. Um, so two digits for the month, two digits for the day, and two for the year. And many times students are confused by what that means. They've never had to do that before. So they may need a little bit of guidance. Um, if they came in late during the year or for whatever reason had to have their device wiped or erased or something, uh, there is a chance that their um, Apple ID was never set to their birth date. It was something that takes place during the summer. So if there is a student that um, tried their six-digit birth date and it does not accept that date, um, then if you let somebody in iLearn or myself know, uh, and then we can go ahead and reset that password for them so they can get it back to that six digit code. So not a perfect process, but it is something that we have found that helps get into uh, Apple Classroom. Once they've got a correct Apple ID signed in, then when you go into the Classroom app, that seems to fix a lot of the issues with them being offline or um, authorizing. So hope it helps.